And we are following breaking news on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. A crash has closed part of the Turnpike right near the Lebanon Lancaster interchange, causing some huge backups. Let's go to Jeremy Jenkins. He's live there with the latest. Jeremy. Well, Lori, thankfully we can say a lot of those backups are now over and done with. We're starting to see that the turnpike has reopened in this area, but one person is injured and a lot of people were frustrated after a partial shutdown was happening because of that crash. Just take a look at the picture we have for you here. That was a lot of what was happening earlier today. So as you can see, it was a massive, massive incident that shut down a portion of the turnpike here. The turnpike officials say this happened just after 3.30 and that crash involved a box truck and a heavy tow truck towing a box truck. Now we want to give you a live picture of what's going on out here on the turnpike. Just take a look. As you can see, a lot of that is over and done with here. You can see a little bit of that residue that's left on the road from where that accident occurred. But other than that, things are moving smoothly. For the longest time, though, emergency crews were out on the scene. They actually had to rescue one of the drivers who was trapped. And other than that, they were out here just trying to get the roadways open as quickly as possible. We actually talked to an official called the Thivo. This is what he had to say about all that. Just take a listen. We're working to try to open uh, at least one westbound lane to allow traffic uh, to, to pass by the, the accident scene. And as we talked about before, the scene is now clear in regards to the driver. That person has been taken to Hershey Medical Center. There is no word yet on the driver's condition. Reporting live on the Turnpike, I'm Jeremy Jenkins for WGAL News 8.